Hey everyone, it's Red here. I'm going to give you a quick little tutorial of how to create a clean interface. So the add-ons that I've listed before in the information, you'll have to have them all set up and when you load up your game, um, so we'll do this on my Rogue, which is uh, sitting here as a level 70, it's my alt now, and you'll see quite a lot of stuff in the middle of your screen. Um, now don't worry about this, we're just going to type slash bar or bar to open up the bartender 4 menu. We'll click unlock and get rid of the bar snapping and we'll move some of this rubbish out of the way just get the vehicle bar there, stance bar um, it, it, if you're lucky it's made a bit of a good guess as an add-on as to what buttons you might want out um, but don't worry about those at the moment, you can always drag your buttons from your um, other uh, sp spells in the spell book for example or macros um, onto these later on um, I'm just going to stick with uh, what the button bar has guessed um, so here's uh, bar 1 down here and um, we'll just pop it down out of the way at the moment at the bottom and you can scale and zoom these and uh, um, change the padding size and all sorts of different things um, so let's just get the chat window out of the way put it over there, we'll, we'll deal with the chat window later on we've got a, quite a nice mod for the chat window that we've installed um, stick button bar 2 down there out of the way now, a lot of these button bars we really don't actually need so um, we'll go and turn them off, so go to bar 3 and click disable and uh, we only really want to play around with a few of these at the moment. That is uh, some of our lesser used spells, so we'll change that to, to sit over on the side. Now, the number of rows that you can have, you can um, create these into any kind of space that you want. It's a, a very powerful mod, very cool. Um, so we'll put that over to one side. Now we're starting to look a bit cleaner now. I'm just going to see what else we want to do. Um, Right, I think that uh, we want to put uh, a one bag mod on. Now, I, I quite like one bag mods, not everyone does. Um, so, we're going to put the bags down here at the bottom. Now, I like this uh, mod very much, it's called Board Bag. Um, there are various other ones available, but uh, this one's always been pretty stable and I've never had any bugs with it. So, I, so I tend to stick with this month after month as we go through all the patch changes. Um, don't forget your vehicle bar if you ever go into Strand of the Ancients or. Uh, um, go and try and kill Malagos, you'll need that sitting around somewhere. And our micro bar we'll put down there. And uh, a pet bar, not forgetting that, because if you raid, the chances are you'll end up having to control a pet some, somehow. That's looking pretty good, I think. Um, so we'll lock this for now, um, so that we can start to play around with some of the other mods as well. Now you see that countdown on the buttons there, I've just de-stealthed, uh, that's Omni CC. Um, it's a, a very nice little cooldown mod that shows you the cooldowns on your buttons. Okay, now, let's deal with the cast bars. Now, there are lots of different cast bars in this uh, e-casting bar. Um, I'm going to turn off the mirror bar, target bar and focus bar. Now I tend to have the focus bar on and the target bar on when I'm PvPing, um, but uh, I'm just going to show you some of the basics. Now you can set the uh, texture on the bar to all sorts of different things. I quite like steel um, but uh, Banto bar is uh, is quite a nice um, finish on the bar so we'll, we'll pick that one for the moment. Now with the uh, outline showing you can pick up the casting bar and move it to where you want um, and then when you get into the right place if you hide the outline then you can't see it. Now it'll uh, I'll show you if I mount up on my uh, war bear you can see the casting, it's quite a, a nice effect. Um, you get the same sort of thing with the uh, um, other bars from the target bar or the focus bar depending on what those targets or focus are actually doing. So I'm going to hide the border there. Oh, yeah, we've got a quite a nice clean interface right at the beginning. Now these is uh, this here is part of the um, quest helper which I use when I'm uh, leveling my alts um, or when I leveled my shaman. So you can just hide the um, text by clicking that little dot and make it reappear um, when you want to. And that arrow there um, is showing you where the objectives are. It's, uh, it's a pretty cool mod. Just killed the crab there before it had a go at me. Okay. Now you see up in the right hand corner this map. That's uh, called Sexy Map. It's pretty cool. It's one of the best ones I've found. Um, let's uh, start editing those. We'll get rid of the clamp to screen and the lock so we can move it around and scale it and everything. Um, there's quite a few different features of this. You can see that uh, it's loaded at default quite a whizzy little blue spinning background at the bottom which I quite like but it gets a bit distracting so we're going to get rid of that in a minute. You can change 
um, different settings you can show coordinates now don't forget by the way in all these ads to save your profiles um, it's always good if you're going to uh, um, change names or, or do things like that um, I said ping so that I can see it on the map and, and so on okay now let's get rid of the, uh, the borders and put something a bit more sensible there's lots of different presets um, there's um, some quite fancy ones showing all sorts of different glowing borders um, quite cool some of these but again a bit distracting so I'm just going to stick with a, a simple square okay now I tend to know where I am so I'm not going to bother with uh, the display of the zone at the top so we'll turn that off okay position it where we want because we unlock the map again with all these other mods don't forget to lock your buttons and uh, lock the positions and uh, make sure everything's exactly where you want now the default settings with uh, bartender um, it's pretty cool and um, you can change all the bindings inside your key bindings menu I'm not going to bother showing you the key bindings um, because it'll end up being a bit of a long video but uh, I'll set these up um, before I go off to a target dummy and show you what it looks like when you're in combat so I'm going to turn off the macro text and hotkey text um, because it's uh, kind of naff showing those on the buttons so again make it nice and clean um, you can also do your tool tips on this as well and I tend to turn off my tool tips in combat and that's in the, the bar settings now this is a uh, slash BF is button facade and that lets us change the skin of our buttons there's lots of different button skins available on the web um, but I quite like the defaults um, which is uh, dream layout now you can change these per bar um, so if we have dream layout on our first bar or sleek or zoomed or again some of the ones that you download then it uh, starts to look quite nice and it changes really the sort of uh, highlighting effect and the click effect uh, on each of the bars so you can see you can change these separately uh, stance bar could be changed separately and just to get the sort of look and feel that you want now again I, I really like the dream layout which comes with the um, button facade mod so I'm going to stick with that Let's change all the bars, um, so even the hidden ones, if I need to enable those later on, I don't have to remember to come back and do button facade as well. Now I've never figured out a way of getting the micro menu to change on this mod. It uh, doesn't seem to matter what you do, it never changes the, uh, the micro menu bar, uh, but hey, never mind. Okay. So I've got all those set how I want them. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good.